Hello, Injective Ninjas. I am Stark Boy Web 3 Ninja, and today we're going to go through some time sensitive air jobs that you must do. The first one, <coughs> sorry, the first one is this one OX Ninja PvP game. They've got around 21 million pounds to just distribute, and they're looking to do a air drop. Now, all you do is you come onto the app and you play the games. That is all you do. You can do the ninja coin flip, you can do the lot ninja lottery, or you can do like a Pepe draw. You could just go down and click create game. You would need some test injective. So the way to get test injective, they literally just type in test injective in the faucet, test injective faucet, sorry, in Google, bring it up. Whether you get a capital wallet or a leap wallet, you would then change it over to testnet and put your wallet your wallet address in the faucet send you the tokens and then you would just come over here use the site now the maximum you can receive is 200 points on the test net this is time sensitive i'll leave the link to this because they are taking a snapshot at some point today right so get on this it, it literally i mean they've got a z request as well and i think they've got a galaxy they can all get done in a day it's not a very long process to do those at all and um, to get on it, that's your first one. So make sure you are eligible for NLC. <laughs> the token for the ninjas. Next here we have Black Panther. Everyone's been going mad about this on the injective ecosystem. Um, it's going to be a big, big airdrop, probably one of the more profitable ones. All you would have to do, <coughs> you can either use one of these vaults. What these vaults are different strategies in terms of you creating money or income so you can use the helix real yield strategy helix trend following bots or the helix market trading you would basically deposit injective and usdt into one of these and you would qualify for the airdrop i've also been staking using the validator the validator um, you can find in the leap or capital wallet and it is literally called Black Panther Airdrop. <laughs> you would, you have to claim the points. This is still active. You're not too late to do this, but please hurry up. You would then go, I think it's onto the dashboard, where you would see your positions here, and then you would click in your position. You would click stake. In fact, let me just do it for you. So let's go for this one. So I would click manage. I would then click stake, claim rewards, and then claim the reward if I had the reward. I've claimed all my rewards so far, so I have no rewards. So, and then just join their Twitter, join their Discord, and make sure you keep up to date with the airdrop. But this airdrop is still going on, and all you have to do is stake to the validator, so you're not exactly spending money or just putting money away. Now, if you wanted to unstake it, it does take 21 days to unstake it. So that is something to remember. The next one here we have is Griffin. Now I did put one injective on here. I lost it. I don't know where it is. We're not sure I find that. Something to do with if you mint. There's definitely an airdrop going with this one. You may need a bit more experience to do it. Um, as I may have found. Now all you have to do is come onto the site, bond injective and you get this N injective and you're supposed to be able to use the N injective I have no idea, oh here it is here here's my N injective right. so to use this I would I will figure that out <laughs> and tell, tell, tell you how to do it right. but this is still going on now so you would do this, they have I think it's Galaxy or ZD Quest as well which you can partake in. I finished their Z request. Literally, you're early, so if you do it now, um, you you get like this special oat, which I think is needed for the airdrop. So you definitely want to do that. This one is for people who maybe want to dive and delve a bit more into Web3 and become a bit more specialized in it. If you just want the easy airdrops, I wouldn't say this one's for you. The next one, pretty easy airdrop, Glacier. You confirm they're doing an airdrop. Um, all you have to do is mint. It's completely free. 
test net again uh, all you need is a MetaMask all you have to do is mint information onto the blockchain so you would come down here where is it click place here go to the home page and then you would just click app I've got the window open here can't always find it now I've got the window open right here right so all you would literally do is use it that's it and then you would you would um quite a pack of the airdrop I'll do a tutorial now in case you don't know so you need to create a namespace by clicking the create a namespace here all the transactions are free so I haven't got to worry about anything so let's go hover bubba on oh, no spaces so hover all Ollie because it's got to be something that's not been taken before so we just put something stupid in there so then our MetaMask comes up we sign the transaction as soon as it lets us sign so you go and now you create a new data set for it so we go Jill okay just some random stuff Sorry, the mask is very stuffy. I just had a McDonald's and I can taste it through my nose. There you are, you sign the request. So then you come down here where you would have made the data set. You click the plus button. Again, we'll put real beats, two Zs, field. Bother. Looks, and then you would tick the little box here. Got to create two data sets, so we do another one. So June, April. Click the little box. Click OK. Your MetaMask will come up. I don't know if you can see it coming up on the screen or not, but mine's coming up here. Sign the transaction. And that is it. That is all you have to do to be eligible for the airdrop. I've left the link in the description for you, so please join using the link. Um, it would really help me out uh, to keep creating this content if you would. There is also the Bearer Chain, which is a test net where they may be doing it as a airdrop everyone's talking about that in a minute so it's free again you can just go on beer chain use the apps and hopefully qualify for a, a um airdrop obviously this is the faucet the faucet is very temperamental works sometimes sometimes it doesn't work so you may have to come back same thing with this one they've also said they're doing an airdrop but i keep trying to use this app and i can't seem to swap the injective over to a usd um i've got enough inject here it just seems that the site's not working properly at the moment so we just keep coming back to do this one uh there is one more i would say but i'm going to make a whole video on that one no in fact i do it now this is the next one it is satoshi iv satoshi vm this is also testnet so again it's not going to cost you a penny to do all you have to do literally is get yourself a unisat wallet <laughs> you can get one down at google chrome um then you would come on the site i'll leave the link in the description you get you can get your btc faucet here and you can get your testnet satoshi vm here and you would need Sapolia as well. So you would go and get used your Sapolia the same way you've just got the, your beer chain or any, any other test net. You would just, if you're struggling to find it, just type in Google Sapolia test net and you'd find it. Uh, Sapolia test net faucet, sorry. So all you would do here is we would zero, 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 one. So deposit, so I click deposit. And it will bring up my transaction. As you can see, the, the once you've done it for one, it's the same for them all. Uh, once you start getting used to it, that's that. And then 
No, you, I don't think withdrawals actually working at the minute. Let's try. Withdrawal. Yeah, look, withdrawal is temporarily suspended at the moment, right? But I know it's still working on the Sapolio one because I've just withdrew it. So you want to do the same thing here. So we go 0 0.0001. You want to deposit it over. And you just want to do this as much as you can just to build up your transactions because the more you do, the more of an airdrop you're going to get. So it's going to ask you to switch your network here. The MetaMask, you know, switch the network over, that's fine. You have to be flexible as a ninja and jump from chain to chain. <laughs> it's just loading it up in the MetaMask now to confirm it. So confirm the transaction. <laughs> This is why, what one thing I will say, right? It's not financial advice, <laughs> but one thing I would definitely say that helps you. I believe if you're an airdrop farmer or a test net farmer, you should be going into these faucets and just getting tokens every single day. Just get them every day because you don't want to run out and then leave yourself in a, in a pickle. So I always get, I every day I get test net Sapolio, test net injective, test net Bitcoin, whatever I can. So that's that transaction done. And then as soon as it comes on again, you've seen it, it's pretty simple how to do. You would, I mean, it's not clear yet, but you would withdraw it. You're doing the same thing. So you would click max. Might have to be the 0 0.0001. So if you're not bridging enough over, bridge some more over to match the amount that it tells you here and just withdraw it. And this is, again, sensitive. So it's going to be done soon. So you want to be getting on this as soon as possible. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. So that was these Web3 Ninja. And they are from there are some easy easy test test net airdrops you can do right now. So please do them. Um, I'm out.